Today I'm going to show you how to make this super fun retro wave design. Make sure you like and subscribe to my channel to get future notifications. This is a super fun tumbler, so let's get started. Today we are working on a 16 ounce plump from the Still Magnolia. I have a discount code linked for you guys down in the description. So go save some money and snag some of these amazing tumblers. I am also working with my brand new Retro Waves tumbler template. This template is so much fun. And before I start applying it, I like to use my Cami Page Boutique Ultimate Tumbler Tool. I also have a discount code link for you in the description. I am using the vertical line tool and I am just taking a marker and making a line. Then I take my tumbler template and just fold back the backing an inch or two, line it right up there on that line. And then I just fold it around to make sure it lines up completely. And then I just start pushing it with my hand and slowly releasing the backing off the template until you get almost all the way around then you are going to remove a little bit of the transfer tape from the beginning and line up your template and then remove the rest of the transfer tape Today I am going to be working with these three colors. We have Copycat, Hayride, and Eye Candy. And I am just going to take a paint color that is closest to all three colors. And I am going to mix in some Mod Podge or glitter glue at about a 50-50 ratio. And then when I have that all mixed up, I am going to remove the section on the template that I want to glitter. And I'm just going to start painting on that paint and glitter mixture. And then while your mixture is still wet on your tumbler, you're going to want to sprinkle on that glitter. I decided I really loved this eye candy color, so I wanted to add more to my tumbler. I took a second section of the tumbler template off and then did the exact same thing with the paint mixture and then sprinkling on that beautiful glitter. Now you are going to remove the second part of our template where we want our orange glitter. I just removed the thinner parts of the template here. And then I am going to mix in some orange paint with my Mod Podge, stir that all in together, and then paint that on the sections we removed. This time you're going to want to be a little bit more careful because you are butting up against that eye candy glitter. So just go slow and steady and then sprinkle on this orange glitter called Copycat.
Now we are going to take off our final piece of the template and then we are going to mix in just some yellow paint with some Mod Podge, something similar to the glitter color. And we are going to apply this and then sprinkle on this glitter called Hayride. And normally I'm not really a yellow girl. Yellow and orange are usually my two least favorite colors, but this Hayride glitter, there is something about it that I just reach for it more and more. It is just so stunning. So get that all sprinkled on and then we will move on to the bottom of our tumbler and I still went with the glitter called Hayride because I love it so much and I'm just going to paint around that bottom rim and then sprinkle on the glitter and then base coat the bottom and top that off with that beautiful Hayride glitter. I let the glitter glue and a paint mixture dry completely and then took and spray sealed my tumbler with Krylon or Rust-Oleum's Triple Thick. That's my favorite. And then I let that dry completely and then we are going to add a layer of epoxy. Now that your tumbler is all cured, we are going to cut out some white vinyl striping. I cut these out on my silhouette and I cut them at maybe a little bit bigger than an eighth of an inch, not quite a quarter of an inch. I tried quarter of an inch, it looked stupid, so I recut them. <laughs> Um, and then we are just going to follow the curvature of each line and stripe out our tumbler. Some of your vinyl striping may not be long enough to go all the way around the tumbler, so you're just going to take an extra piece of the vinyl striping and slightly overlay it and then trim off the excess on the bottom. We want a nice smooth base to add our decal, so we want to cover that vinyl with another epoxy layer. Now that that epoxy layer has cured, it's time to add our decal. And I found this really super cute retro bunny that kind of had the same kind of swirlies as our tumbler. So I thought it was absolutely perfect. And so I'm just going to add this little smiley face bunny. Once you have your cute little decal all applied, it is time to add your final layers of epoxy until your tumbler is smooth. And here is our tumbler all finished. This retro wave design was so much fun and I can't wait to have a little bit of extra time to play around with that template a little bit more. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please remember to like and subscribe and thanks so much for watching.